In this video, we're going to do a quick, uh, just kind of overlook at uh, the new piece of software that we are incorporating into our workflow uh, called Descript. Uh, so once you log in, I uh, come here to Projects, and uh, it is, from what I understand, it will be shared or it is shared between all of our users. In fact, you can see here we've got Jameson's a user and my user. And here's a, a folder that Jameson created, and these are all three that I created. Um, we go in here to season one, live season one, which is the project that I pulled up and that I'm uh, using for the demo here tonight. So season one, episode 10, how to get out of your single rut. So we go in here and now this opens up the project. As you can see here, I've got two things here already, two compositions already. So this is the raw. And uh, what we have here down here looks like, you know, your traditional uh, audio waveform. And this would be your picture. Um, and now the, the Descript tutorial goes into detail about how to use the software, where all the tools are and all that. So we're not going to go into that today. I'm just going to go over uh, workflow and uh, how we are using or going to be using the software. So uh, as soon as a a piece comes in, we'll pull the raw in, and uh, I would like to label it raw like I did here, um, and then let's duplicate it. So we don't want to edit from that. Let's label it raw, let the transcript pull. If you um, if you want to take the time to correct the transcript, uh, please go for it, but uh, definitely don't have to. All right, so then I duplicated it and edited this down, and so now we're left with a one-minute piece ready to send out to an editor. My role here in this flow is producer, or predator, I guess. So as the producer, I'm basically doing the first cut inside of Descript. I then take this cut, and then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to hit Share, and then I hit Export, and then I'm going to click Adobe Premiere. And then uh, create track for each file. I don't know what that does, but I turn it on. Uh, and I turn this one off because otherwise it creates a uh, raw file. But we keep the raw stored on uh, Google Drive so that you can reference it anyway. And uh, we'll go over how to link that up when we pull this XML in. But uh, So we're going to export the Premiere XML. So let's choose export here. And it's going to go out really fast. Uh, so let's navigate over to where we want to save this. And so we're going to put this inside of our master media drive. And I've already created a uh, Descript uh, folder here. And I actually already pulled this out once uh, as a test. So it still sucks there is what we called it. And then we would hit export and then it would export out. All right. So now let's jump over and... Uh, Let's look at the desktop here and see what that file looks like. So now we look at the file that it generated. And so we have this XML. Now, what do you do with an XML? Now, uh, XMLs pull right into Adobe Premiere really easily and quickly. So let me uh, pull this project window over here real quick so you can see it. There we go. And so now... I'm going to, uh, the shortcut is Apple I or Command I, but we'll do it manually here. Uh, import. And then you navigate over to the uh, XML, right? So that's where we had stored it. And there it is, the XML. So now when we hit import, watch how fast this comes in. All right, so it's in. Now it's asking us for the raw media. So what we want to do is find that. So let's hit locate. And then uh, we will jump back to, let's see. So we were in Descript, and the master media is going to be in raw, live, 2020. This was episode 10. There it is. So now we have linked the media to the sequence here. And so now here's the clip. And so first thing that we want to do always is to create uh, proxies. And I store my proxies locally. So we'll let that run. And now Premiere will run that in the background. But we can go ahead and start working uh, while it's doing that. And so first thing we want to do is let's grab this uh, It Still Sucks uh, sequence that we exported. All right. 
And so now we have the sequence that we cut in Descript right here in Premiere. You're still single. It still sucks. And it just seems you were lonelier this year. So now, I have a little, so now we have a little more control. We can clean up this audio a little bit. Um, so, of course, as you know, I am a super stickler on clean audio. It drives me batty when audio is not clean. So we'll just go ahead and apply my standard filters on that. You're still single. It still sucks. And it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality. And I'm not tired of being the complainer, right? I'm just tired of being the... So tired of being... Who wants that? Nobody. Uh, I, like, do you want that for yourself? No. So anyway, tonight you were in the right place. If either you were nervous to connect with strangers, or you... okay. So my thought is, let's throw the sting right there. Okay. So we'll open it up. You're still single. It still sucks, and it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year, but. Here's the reality. I'm not tired of being the complainer, right? I'm just tired of being the. Okay, I think we put the sting right here. Complainer, right? I'm just. Okay, so the, what I would do then is just grab after that and let's slide it over just a hair just so we don't accidentally overwrite anything. And then I have loaded in right over here into this uh, bin polishing assets. I have loaded in all of the things that you need, so the sting, and you just literally grab it here. Uh, you do want to double check inside here that this is turned uh, or not selected. Okay, because when you turn that on, or when you select that or it puts an X through there, it's going to insert these as a sequence. See how it puts it in as one? And the effects will not work properly. So what you have to do is turn this off. And then when you grab it, now you see you get the full uh, build. And so you can line the, uh, you can see the little guy right there. You can line him up right to the edge, boom, and drop, and now he's in. You're still single. It still sucks. And it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality. I'm not tired of being the complainer. All right. So uh, you can see that dropped in wrong. So what we need to do is change our resolution of the sequence uh, because the template is built at 1080 and most likely uh, the clip pulled in from the script at a lower resolution because uh, it came out of uh, StreamYard. We just come up here to Sequence and then Sequence Settings. And then we'll change this from 1280, 720. Yep. All right. So we'll just change this to 1920. Oops, 1920 by 1080. And that should fix the problem. And that's okay. We'll click OK there. So now you can tell these clips are all the wrong size. So what we will need to do is highlight the entire thing here. And then we can just right click and uh, set to frame size. And that will scale everything up. All right, so now we should be good to go. Uh, now, a lot of this lagging that we're getting is uh, due to the fact that we, the proxies are still processing in the background. Um, so, of course, if we were kicking out, um, you know, 20 or plus clips from each of these, then uh, we only have to process these in the background once. And then they'll be done. So, all right, so now let's look and see how this plays out. Here's the reality. I'm not tired of being the complainer, right? So tired of being. Are you just tired of that? Like, who wants? Who wants that? Nobody. Uh, I, like, do you want that for yourself? No. So anyway. So anyway, tonight you were in the right place. If either you were nervous to connect with strangers, or you've been putting yourself out there, but your love life just isn't where you want it to be. Right? I mean, that's that's true. If that's really truly who you are, I get it. If you're anxious uh, and a bit nervous to connect with strangers, it, you know, you've actually got to be a pretty strong strong person to actually okay. admit that about yourself. Because deep down, that's actually where most of us live. Or maybe you might even be just exhausted from from talking about it. You're just like, you know, I got to work on it, but I'm really tired of 
talking about it because it's really not sexy like it is in the movies so what do i do um so anyway if any of those things stand out to you then you are in the right place um but please let us know which one sounds most like you all right so then uh now we'll put the end card up and so that's going to be a comment M card. So you can see here we've pre-built a share in card and a comment in card. And this is the same way. You want to make sure this is turned off and then grab it and drag it down. And you can line it right up with the uh, end of the clip and just drop it on. And now everything is uh, ready to go. But please let us know which one sounds most like you. All right, so now that's done. Uh, so now we need to set up the mix. All right. Oh, we missed a piece, the lower third. So in this particular piece, uh, it's just Elisa talking. She has one already on there, so we don't need to do it. Uh, but if you uh, were on a clip and you wanted to do it or it was time to do it, so say we were to drop it in here, which we'll end up deleting this, but... Uh, just grab the lower third here and uh, drop it on the clip where you want it to go. And just like the other pieces, everything uh, lays right on. Sound effects and all. Truly who you are, I get it. So if you're anxious uh, and a bit nervous to connect with strangers. It okay. So now as you can tell, all those sound effects are super loud. I'm going to turn this off. And the reason why those are so loud is because these are uh, mixed uh, assets. And then this stuff came in from the raw audio. So we, we still need to process that a bit. Uh, next step is to add in the title of the clip. And so we're going to call this one, It Still Sucks. And so to do that, this title here is just this one. And then you can uh, just select the uh, text tool here type tool I think is what they call it and then just roll right here and then when you're in here you'll just highlight it and type and so this would be uh, what I say we're gonna call this it still sucks yeah it still sucks all right so that's done all right so now we need to jump in and mix the audio so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is drop these audio tracks down to three well, I'm a little anal with that uh, like a little space visually uh, for while I work um, and also just kind of keeps it nice and clean uh, all right so that's there so the first thing that we want to do is let's pull up the mixer and so the mixer I like to use is the audio track mixer so let's put this guy in right here All right, so we're going to use a, one more track as we're going to throw in audio or music in. So we'll leave room for that to pop in. All right, so now we are ready to work. And we can adjust that. All right, perfect. All right, so first thing that we want to do is uh, I always add a uh, compressor. And so I use the amplitude and compression. And then I go down here to multiband compressor. And then we're going to double click on this layer here. And then I'm going to, I like the broadcast one. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to minus two. All right, so next up, it doesn't really matter which one, but let me just come in here. We'll grab one of these and uh, we'll add a special. And then come over here to mastering. And then let's double click on mastering. And I like to do subtle clarity. And I've got some presets here, subtle cl clarity. And then I drag this reverb all the way down to zero. All right. You're still single, it still sucks. And it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality. Aren't, aren't you tired of being the complainer, right? Just tired of being right. the... So now what we want to do is grab these sound effect clips here and we're going to uh, use the uh, essential sound tab, all right? And uh, so we'll grab that and I'm just going to drop this guy right here into this tab here. And so this is essential sound and we'll come over here to edit and uh, we can go ahead and grab this entire sound effects track. 
like this and just hit sound effects like this all right so the next thing that we'll do then is we'll just head to the mixer and we're going to because this is the track mixer and then we're going to bring this uh audio down and uh let's uh, let's uh play with this a little bit and see what we need to bring this to here's the reality of, aren't you tired of being the complainer right just tired of being the so tired of being are you just tired of that like, who wants who wants that nobody uh i like aren't, aren't you tired of being the complainer right just tired of being the so tired right, of being so it looks like layer three like, works great at negative 20 minus 20 so um all right, so let's add some music. So um, you're still single. It still sucks, and it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality: and aren't you tired of being the complainer, right? So I think we'll come in with just music tired of being right the... there. This is kind of a bossy one, so let's pick something fun here. All right, so let's uh, go into this bin here. And I've pre-pulled some selects. Let's bring this up. I've pre-pulled some selects uh, that we'd used before. And that's fun. We'll just go with that one. All right. And so what we want to do is just drag this in. I'm thinking it should start like right here. And this line this waveform up right here with that. Uh, that edit part of being the complainer, right? All right, so I do a little manual mixing here usually and so what I do is I click once here and then I I add an edit I've got mine programmed to be I'm not certain what the actual uh, Shortcut is but it's razor tool and it looks like c nope that's not it razor tool is not it it's going to be add edit or something yeah anyway uh put a cut right there <laughs> uh and then once you put the cut there then um add a dissolve to that zoom in here now you can see that uh transition i put on there so we'll make that um we'll make this a full 10 frames okay and so now what we're going to do is we're going because we want this music to duck down and um i like to do hard a little harder ducking than uh what the automated system does for you so i always do it manually um so now what we'll do is we'll now that we've defined where the duck's going to happen we will just grab this section and then i'm going to come over here to essential sound and then i'm going to name this one music and then let's call this balanced background and uh, you can see it just like rips that volume all the way down. But it actually does it on the track. So now uh, I don't have to mess with my uh, meters over here. I can just leave them alone. Or it, I, it, it buries the, that mix into the, the sequence without using uh, keyframes. And so it becomes a little easier to manage, I think. And then you can uh, control the entire track right here. Um, so now let's let's listen to that. You're still single. It still sucks, and it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality: Aren't you tired of being the complainer, right? Just tired of being the. I'm tired of being. Okay, still a bit a bit loud. So let's bring this down like uh, the minus ten. Uh, I, like, do you yeah, want that for yourself? Nice. No. So anyway, tonight. You are in the right place. Yeah, minus 15. Either you are nervous yeah, to connect get that with out strangers, of the way. or you've been minus putting 20. yourself out there, but your love life just isn't where you want it to be, right? I mean, that's that's true. That's really, truly who you are, and I get it. If you're anxious uh, and a bit nervous to connect with strangers, if, you know, you've actually got to be a pretty strong strong person to actually admit that about yourself, because deep down, that's actually where most of us live. Or okay. maybe you might even be just exhausted. Nice. All right, so the last thing that we want to do here is to cut the music off. So, uh... You know, the quick and easiest way uh, is to just drag it up and then put a fade at the end. Um, depending on how rushed for time you are, today we're rushed for time and this is for a tutorial, so we're going to do the easy way. 
Uh, we're just going to put a fade on the end here, and I'm going to put, uh, let's put a full, uh, let's put three seconds on this. Okay, so then we'll pull back out of this. And uh, we can uh, unduck the music here. And so here, now we'll select this and we'll come back over here to Essential Sound and then we're going to Clear Audio Type. And that's going to ramp that music right back up for us. But, but please, let us know which one sounds most like you. Cool. All right, so that works. So the last step that we need to do here is now we need to balance the uh, dialog. So we'll highlight that and head back over to Essential Sound, and we're going to just going to choose Dialog. And uh, I usually leave it on default. And let's listen to it back. You're still single. It still sucks. And it just seems you were lonelier this year than you were last year. But here's the reality. Aren't you tired of being the complainer, right? Just tired of being the... So tired of being. Aren't you just tired of that? Like, who wants? Who wants that? Nobody. Uh, I, like, do you want that for yourself? No. So anyway, tonight you are in the right place. If either you are nervous to connect with strangers, or you've been putting yourself out there, but your love life just isn't where you want it to be, right? I mean, that's that's true. If that's really truly who you are, and I get it. If you're anxious uh, and a bit nervous to connect with strangers, if, you know, you've actually got to be a pretty strong, strong person to actually admit that about yourself. Because deep down, that's actually where most of us live. Or maybe you might even be just exhausted from, from talking about it. You're just like, you know, I got to work on it, but I'm really tired of talking about it because it's really not sexy like it is in the movies so what do i do um so anyway if any of those things stand out to you then you are in the right place um but please let us know which one sounds most like you that all looks and uh plays back great uh so i think we're ready to send this clip out to frame.io for notes and so to do that we just uh mark our entire clip here and then we're going to uh, head over here to Frame.io. Let's move my mug out of the way. From here, the editor will upload to Frame.io and producers will leave notes. Uh, all right, uh, we will see you guys in the next training. Rock and roll.